welcome to the Teddy Dury. Thank you. Um, it's only the second day, so you still look very fresh and <laughs> full, filled with power. How do you um, see your role as a jury member? What perspectives do you bring? What parameters do you work in? Like, what is the, what is your approach to that job? Okay, as it, well, the, our jury is actually a very international jury. It's yeah. from a global jury from all parts of the world. So we have a variety of perspectives um, when it comes to regions, races, or race issues of race and ethnicity. But we also have uh, different perspectives in terms of gender and sexuality. Mm -hmm. And in these parameters, there are, of course, lots of different um, perspectives when it comes to cinephilia, as opposed to activism, mm -hmm. trying to merge these two mm -hmm. binary oppositions almost. So that would be something to navigate between. And I'm really looking forward to the debates coming up because I think these are the debates, not so much maybe the, yeah, the, these will be the interesting debates to look at um, in what way do we want to highlight films that um, serve the community and in that case what what is the community is there a LGBT community of course it's not it's, uh, there are loads and loads of different communities and different scenes and but still there is a kind of identitarian um, still a quest for a kind of identitarian uh, approach to film as, as something that represents yourself and then opposed to that although it doesn't always have to be opposed to that is the kind of the cinephilia approach of like programming as if issues of gender race and class don't even count in mm -hmm. and this this is very much you you meet um, in white male programmers mm -hmm. that they just look at cine cinephilia and not at other issues. Mm -hmm. So, and I guess this this will be really interesting to look at uh, in the de in the debates. So, so I can tell that it's it is really a, a political question for you, film. You know, you can't really separate it. And um, do you think that it's this is a problem that queer cinema has to face still, or is it something you, you that will always be there? Like, what role does that play in politics and art? It's still there. I mean, if you look at the way Cannes, the Cannes Film Festival this program with the, to the total lack of female directors it's just ridiculous that in the year of 2015 as it was last year that this can still happen and also in, in Berlin we have this incredible lack of uh, lesbian filmmakers um, why is it and there's no need in in this year because last year I'm from the Hamburg International Queer Film Festival and last year we even have difficulties to finding gay films because there were so many lesbian films, which mm -hmm. we call them, like, of course, you know, it's about and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so there is no lack, mm -hmm. uh, but the lack is very often there in programming in big film festivals. And this mm -hmm. is something that will continuously uh, have to be addressed. Mm -hmm. So how do you change that infrastructure? I think to include a more, uh, to include more programmers with different backgrounds, more lesbian, bisexual, transgender programmers of different, um, with different identifications when it comes to uh, whiteness or uh, multi-ethnic diversity, that would be something to work on. Uh, in Hamburg, we're a collective of programmers. We, do, we, we don't have a, a hierarchy, but we have, there are 10 people of us, and we discuss the films mm. and, um, and try to obtain a and as broad diversity as possible. Mm. And how do you make sure that you not only politicize film? Because that can also be a quite, you know, narrow perspective if you only approach it through. It's, yeah. it's a highly aesthetic medium too. So Totally. And I mean, that's why we all usually, why many people actually love film and mm. go to the cinema because of the cinephilia and because of the aesthetics of film. Mm. Because it leads us to somewhere else and makes us think of new horizons and opens up new worlds for us. And if you just preach to the converted and just do social realist whatever documentaries on oppressed masses um, this is not what people go to the cinema for mm -hmm. and it's also very paternalistic and a very western a very eurocentric approach yeah. of programming films for instance from countries of the south because it's so important to program this really bad documentary from a southern country but yeah. just because it's it depicts a, a specific political issue. So I think um, that's why I talked about the way, the need to navigate between uh, cinephilia and activism mm -hmm. to find a middle way and to, um, 
um, and especially not to just program films from the south which are maybe aesthetically not as well made or so but just because they depict something that is current there I think that is a very paternalistic Eurocentric way of looking at it so and for instance stories of our lives the film that was a big success last year uh, from Kenya showed that you can really work in an aesthetically innovative and original way and and have um, a really political Stand. Mm -hmm. I'm, hopefully, all the films we program in Hamburg do negotiate this very well. Mm -hmm.